here to do shabby dabby doo das um, challenge and it's for you uncolored now I've had a great deal of problems over this because I'm not sh well I'm sure what I want to do but I'm not sure if I want to do it <laughs> if that makes any sense I don't suppose it does Anyway, I want to make um, a book plate uh, that I saw treasure uh, books making, an envelope uh, similar to um, Wendy Mason's, and a flower from Pam at the um, at the outpost paper outpost. Okay, so first, what I wanted to do was stamp some of this paper. I've also got lots of uh, paper here with already pictures on from Alice in Wonderland book. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use those. I've so also got a bingo ticket and this uh, goes on my new um, because I'm using black and white mostly, um, or uh, this is this is actually gone really brownish and old looking in a matter of weeks because it's been out in the sunshine. Um, because they're not true colours according to scientific things, so they're not coloured. <coughs> so I've got black archival ink here. And I want to use, I think I wanted to use, yeah, some of these uh, stamps that I bought. Sorry, I'm losing my voice now. <coughs> that uh, I thought if I stamped all over it, so I could make some flowers and then maybe put this in the centre, make this into a doily. So that's the flower. And then... Um, I thought I found this envelope which uh, was quite nice, I, I don't know where I got them from and I thought the butterfly would look good in there with this or the, I don't know. <laughs> and the nameplate, I was want to use the black and white with some natural <coughs> coloured lace and stuff. Okay, so <laughs> Let's start with the flower and see how we go, okay? And so I have to put you on first timer as usual. Hopefully this has been videoing, has it? Yeah, okay. So on to first. Hello, I'm back again. I've made the flower. I'm quite pleased with it. I made messy fingers, but uh, <clears throat> that's okay. I don't know where I got the idea of stamping around the flower, but I did. <clears throat> so, uh, that's very nice. So, that's one thing done. So, the next thing I want to do is the envelope. So, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, <coughs> I finished that. I'm not so pleased with it, but uh, 
that will have to do for the time being because I've only got nine minutes left and I want to really make this um, <coughs> the thing but it is natural colours anyway I are uncoloured okay so now I need to make this I want to make this narrow one so I'm going to cut here but <clears throat> I've lost the brad so um, I'm going to have to use one of the other brads okay low battery all right nine minutes so this is the size I want here but I would like it a bit straighter so I'm going to do that straight and I might put you back on fast timer actually because uh, I don't know eight minutes is a long time so I might come back in five minutes or so okay this is going to be covered so it doesn't matter maybe I was a bit close there uh, Anyway, so first timer, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to do it, well maybe, I've got one minute, i just got to put the brads through, they will go through all this, not so easy, no, come on Brad, I've got sticky fingers you see because the glue wouldn't work properly and now I've just lost my hole, so come on, yeah. There. Go on through you two. Both of you, please. Ah. Go on, 35 seconds. And it won't go in the hole. Okay, there we are. One down. Paper in the right place. Another brad quickly. 20 seconds. A hole. Not going to make it, am I? I don't think. Come on, you have to do it properly. Come on. Here you go, Brad. Yes, just by the bell. Look. <laughs> okay, thank you. Time up. Time done. <coughs> so I did. The thing is a bit messy there, and uh, for some reason the glue won't stick. My glue gun was playing silly, Billy. I've got black all over the, but never mind. Okay, so I I did manage <laughs> pull the spellos in in Spanish, just about to do. The three things in 30 minutes so I've got a very unusual journal thing there with sticky fingers I've got a very beautiful flower that I'm very pleased about uh, with the idea of printing on it and I quite like my um, my butterfly envelope okay so um, I don't have to use it as a butterfly, I can put a photograph in there as well. So I'm quite pleased. If you are too, please give me a thumbs up. I'll try and clean up some of this rubbish. And I'll see you for the next one, which is Vellum, more my street. Uh, okay, not too bad in the end. Bye for now. Give me a thumbs up, please. Bye.